right, next up, longtime member of the Ignite family, Tim Burke. Mods and rockers. Explain it. You're not going to swallow a sword, are you? <laughs> All right. So, are you familiar with the term mods and rockers? Yeah? Well, just this past June, we had a mods and rockers rally here in Cincinnati. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it so that next year you're a little more up on it and you're ready for it. So what are the rockers? The rockers are the guys in the leather jackets. They're the guys with the goggles on, and they got the girls that all dressed kind of uh, mean, and, but they're not. They're not what you're about to see next. This. All right, that's not what I'm talking about. What we're talking about is guys on Triumphs, not guys on Harleys. Now, this is a fun show to watch. It's like uh, Sopranos on, uh, on motorcycles, but that's not what we're talking about. So we're talking about the guys in the, in the UK who used to do hot rodding of scooters and motorcycles when they were hot rodding cars here. And the mods, of course, are the guys on the scooters. Now, the guys on the scooters and the guys on the motorcycles, they don't get along. And in 1964, in Brighton Beach, they used to fight a bit. Now, the mods in the U.S. now, modern-day mods, look a little different than they did then. Got a little more punk style, ska, that kind of thing. But back in those days, they used to really toss it over there. In 1964, they had a major fight in Brighton Beach, and it was made all kinds of press, sold lots of papers, so much so that they started paying them to do it again and again. So they really sensationalized the fighting bit a bit. They really weren't against each other all that much, but uh, it, was, it was making them all money. And if you've ever seen the movie Quadrophenia, you know, The Who and Sting was in this, as you can see. It was a story about the mods and the rockers there. So it's really been sensationalized quite a bit. But the reality is... The rockers are just guys on motorcycles. They're just uh, having a good time, hanging out with their buddies. Ace Cafe in London is a very famous place. And a lot of times it had uh, a lot to do with fashion and music. So hairstyles were a lot uh, into, into that. So this is a modern day guy. And this is the modern day rockers. This is what you might see nowadays, all right? They still got the leather jackets on. They still got some of that old style. But it's just been updated a little bit. And this style is, uh, you know, kind of a harkens back. But... Now you got the rockers and the mods, and the mods are updating their styles as well. As you might tell here with Mr. Tarbell, who is a mod fan. And uh, so we, uh, we still do the whole fight thing, so to speak, but there's really no fighting. We get together with uh, some of the scooter clubs here in town, like the uh, Mighty Ohio Scooter Club. And we do rides, we drink, we give each other a hard time, you know, bitch about this guy's bike or that guy's scooter. And... Uh, so here in town, we've got the Cincinnati Cafe Racers Club. Mostly meet over at the Comet on bike night, hang out, have some drinks or uh, bullshit a little bit. Sometimes you'll see us downtown for different meetups. And basically, that's what we do. We go for rides. We have different events. And so this past summer, we put together a Mods and Rockers event. Now, these Mods and Rockers events have been going on for a while. So Chicago's got them. You know, uh, San Diego's got them. Everyone's got them. So this last year, I decided... Cincinnati needs to get on the map as well. We did the Queen City Mods and Rockers. So why do we do it? Basically, we're just trying to build community around motorcyclists and scooters. The scooters have always had a pretty tight unit, and the motorcyclists have always been kind of the, uh, uh, on their own and kind of loners. So we're trying to build better community around it and, and have events that bring those people together. So if you're riding scooters and you're riding motorcycles, there's going to be a lot more for you to be able to do to participate and, and meet new friends and... Uh, have a good time. So that's kind of why we do it. And along the way, we've uh, we had some events this past summer, the, uh, the rally downtown at Motor Pub with lots of motorcycles, only half of which show up in that photograph. And uh, we do group rides, and we, you know, we go uh, have live bands, and we ended up over in Northside. It was a good time. But, uh, you know, the whole, the whole rocker scene, obviously, I don't dress like this every day. No, you don't need a pompadour. You don't need to be James Dean. It's getting a little more updated, you know, like uh, Motor Lady over here. So there's a lot more updating going on. Fashion is, is really what's all about. Whether it's a scooter or a motorcyclist, you're going to um, basically, you know, take some of the uh, more hipster styles, which are kind of cross-platform, no matter if you're a scooterist or a motorcyclist. So the question for you that I have is, which style are you? Are you a little more rocker 
a little more motorcyclist, or a little more mod, a little more scooterist? Well, next June, you're welcome to show up and show us what you got, because we'll have another rally uh, June 1st. <laughs> Local young ladies, these two ladies are sisters, so that is probably a real fight. And that's it. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, Tim. Tim managed to complete, complete his talk under extraordinary family difficulty. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad he managed to still be here.